Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obert Potato. This is At The Gates by John Schaefer. John Schaefer is at the gates. We're at a pretty good, uh, we're at a pretty good place, really. Uh, did that bandit just engage my dude here? All right, well, let's immediately re-engage him and uh, attack him again and win. Yes, great. Happy days. Uh, we're going to try and move back up to the village. We want to expand our territory just a smidgen. Unfortunately, we cannot fortify. Uh, we can't fortify this structure until we have a, a few more weapons, but that's okay. We'll we'll deal with that as we go. We're in the middle of training Clan Arnhelm up, so let's keep Clan uh, Clan Armhelm trained up in uh, in whatever it is crafting crafting skills Scraf crafting skills to pay the bills. The trees speak. They told us to come here. You guys are perceptive. Clearly not that perceptive if you're talking about talking trees. Plus one vision reigns. And woodsman. No extra move points needed to move through forest, brush, forest, and brush tiles. That's forest, brush, forest, and brush tiles. There you go. Great. Um, well, they might be good galleys, actually, I would hasten to add. They might be very, very good galleys. Oh, we can't encamp over here. That's really, really annoying. Oh, also, there's no land bridge. Oh, no. Guess we'll just move back up then. Fine. Not ideal, but whatever. Get you to encamp there. And you guys can... Whoa, are they bandits there? No, they're not. They're just the regular soldiers. That's fine. You guys can keep on moving back this way. And let's finish the turn up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything, for the most part, is going pretty darn well. The only annoying thing would be if the Saxons decided to train up an archer, which I really hope they do not do. But they might well decide to do that. You guys are just going to chill out over there. Oh, this spy actually might die. Yeah, he might die. Because he can't encamp. Because he's adventurous, apparently. Because being an adventurous person uh, precludes your ability to camp. Is that not common common, common knowledge? I mean, I feel like everyone should know that, really, honestly. Great, let's get you trained up as a tailor. And you can help us out. Perfect. I'm going to ply you with alcohol. I'm going to ply you with alcohol as well. Why not? It's only temporary. It's only temporary. But I don't really care. We're going to do it anyway. We got alcohol in the tank. We might as well use it. Okay. How close is the explorer to dying? Very, very close as it turns out. There is almost nothing that we can do about it at this rate. 19% health. Yep. There is nowhere that we can really go that would be... That would make us better off. Yep. I think we're going to die. I think we're going to die because we cannot encamp. Because he's adventurous. Because being adventurous means that you can't encamp, apparently. Whatever. All right, let's go and see if there is actually a, an archer on this square. You are going to continue to encamp over there. Perfect. You guys can oh, just set a quick route, I guess. Okay, let's get you to encamp there. I don't want to mess around with the supply too, too much. Let's get you upgraded twice so that we're making a good amount of cloth. 16 cloth per turn. That is exactly what we like to see. And 30 wool per turn, which is actually obscene. And the good news about sheep shearing is that it doesn't actually kill the sheeps, which is great. It doesn't kill them when you get the wool, when you take, when you, you know, shear them. Yeah, that's, yeah. Whatever the case, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, Clan Ingle, how long is it going to take you to... I'm going to train you up in discipline then, sure. Discovery. There we go. It's only going to take a wee bit of time, but it's a little a little investment. Look at how much parchment we've got. We have so much parchment. You've learned the scholar, the scholar one upgrade. Great. Well, I believe it's free for you, right? Wow, we're saving 150 parchment. Not like that really matters in the slightest. I would be quite happy to pay for. Uh, I'd be quite happy to pay for the upgrade since we got so darn much of uh, parchment. You know, we're great for parchment. Yeah, I'm gonna move you back in here. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. 
We're very, very close to having enough weapons to fortify for one last final time. Yeah, we're a couple of turns away, but no big deal. Let's get you to encamp again. Winter is almost done. We're, we're almost out of the cold. Let's get you to encamp. How are we doing over here? We're on 9% health. I think we're about to... I think we've had it. I think we have had it. Yep, I think we've had it. There's no way to... There's no way to move into an area that actually will give us more that will give us more HP. So I think we're gonna we're gonna die. I guess we might as well try and explore as much as we possibly can. Uh, let's get the other upgrade to scholars. Sure, I know we don't have any steel tool production as of yet. In fact, do we have any steel tools in the inventory at the moment? Doesn't seem like it. It doesn't particularly matter. Let's watch this scout disappear. Oh no! You fell down. You died. Well, that's a shame. That is a real shame. But, you know, the good news is that we've freed up a space for uh, for more clans to get to know us. Which is great. Enemies left rattled. Your army is utterly annihilated. It's not exactly the word of advice that I was looking for. That's fine. Alright, we'll get you to, a camp, to encamp again. I wish I could heal you up, but unfortunately I can't actually do that at the moment. Which is a bit of a bummer. Get you to encamp there, I guess. I still, they're completely surrounded. Like, how do I, how do I get rid of it? It's like I can't do anything about it. I really, I really cannot do anything about those guys. I really cannot do anything about them. But next turn, we'll be able to fortify once more. Oop. Get you to encamp one more time. Train a clan in discipline, discovery. Yep, perfect. I really don't know how effective the galleys are going to be. Uh, we've got all of the upgrades that we need in order to make them pretty darn powerful, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will be powerful. Virtually unscathed, and we are annihilated. All right, well, there's no point in, like, suiciding into there, so I might as well just take it a little bit easier. Yeah, bit of a bummer, but whatever. Okay. Now we can finally do it. Fortify one more time. Great. It's gonna take one turn. You can skip the you can skip your turn for the last for the last time there. Skip your turn for the last time. Uh, we might as well get you back to over there to heal up. It's gonna take a little bit of time to do, but no worries. Great. Settlement is idle. Let's see how long it's gonna to take to train you up to be a galley. It's only gonna take one turn. That's pretty much all we need to do. Scholars, level 2 upgrade is coming along very, very nicely, almost to the point where that is completed. Great. Ooh, esteemed and ranchers. Wow, you start in the rancher position, and you're esteemed. Training time doubled. Okay, experience gained halved, and you're also already ennobled. Huh. Okay, I don't think there are any noble professions in the livestock tree. Not as far as I'm aware, anyway. Uh, so you're not going to be super good. Uh, plus five levels in the livestock. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, okay, well, we'll need to make you... We'll need to make you something in... Because ranching, unfortunately, doesn't actually... I mean, unless we can find some other animal deposit to exploit, which I don't, I don't think there are any animal deposits near us, to be honest. Oh, hold on a minute. Did you not grow the... It's maxed out its control range. Oh, there is actually a herd of deer. All right, let's go and ranch a herd of deer then. Sure. I feel like I could retrain him, but I'm not going to. Also, the galley. Look at this. It's great. It's working. Where's our troops? Supply exhausted. Supply should be fine. Great. I really thought that we would be able to be able to take advantage of that, but it is what it is. Hold on a minute. What did that upgrade actually do? You're a farmer. Hold on a minute. Spend five tools to upgrade. Additional. This is it. You're a farmer, but you're... 
What? I don't understand why it would mention, it would reference gatherers here. Gatherer tools upgrade. All right, I'm, I'm just going to pretend that I know what's going on. But in actuality, as you can probably tell, I, I really don't. Uh, can't move into the... Can't move into the river, unfortunately. But that's no worries. Let's get you to leave. And we'll just get you to come over here and farm this deer, I guess. Yep, there's no other animals that we can... Oh, well, there's sheeps over there, but... I suppose, actually. Well, actually, we don't really need sheeps. We've got enough sheeps. Let's go and get some deers. Uh, you can get your second scholarly upgrade, which is great, which means our research is going to just increase dramatically. And that's pretty much it, I think. That's all that we really care about, right? Yeah, I mean, we need to make sure that we give you both of your upgrades. Okay, why did that... Why does that... Why is that blacked out, but it doesn't... Uh, we don't have 10 weapons. Okay, fine. All right, well, we've got the galleys. Will that show us as being able to... Look, we now completely surround them. We completely surround them. Train someone up in discipline? Sure, let's just train anyone up in discipline, I guess. There we go. It doesn't particularly matter... Oil cultivators, nah. Quartermasters, upgrade warriors with 50 weapons. Ah, sure, let's do this. There we go. You are on the way back home. Perfect. Still wish we could do something about these marsh tiles, but unfortunately we just can't. So we're just going to have to leave that there. I'm still a little bit annoyed how our fortification of this area did not result in a slightly larger uh, area of influence. But I guess I guess that's fine. Hold on a minute. Why is it why did it cost seven movement points to Alright, whatever. Uh let's get let's let's go and buy some weapons in the caravan. Buy thirty for 180. And then let's immediately upgrade this galley. To get that up to the to the double upgraded level that we uh, that we know and love, you are very very low. Are we have we got enough olive oil and cloth? I mean we've got an, we got a lot of cloth coming in. I know now 160 cloth. But in order to heal you up, I think it's olive oil as well as cloth. Yeah, oil and cloth. So let's go back to the caravan and let's buy 20 oil. Perfect. We don't actually have any oil production. Steel weapons buy 10. Steel tools buy 10. Armor, weapons, anything really, nothing really interesting. Buy ten fine cloth. War horses. We don't we don't need to we don't need anything else really. Salt buy fifteen. We did have we did have a dude that used salt to uh, convert meat or convert animals into meat and preserve them and whatnot, but didn't really matter. I'm just gonna get you to skip your move yet again. Can we not move here? All right. Don't quite understand what's going on there, but it doesn't particularly matter. Oh, actually, this is a healing pool. Let's get you to come down this way. Let's not have you go all the way up. Yeah, let me just see. Is it while well, next to them? Okay. I presume that means in the tile next door rather than anywhere else. Yeah, this is all really, really good. Yep, yeah, everything everything seems to be going pretty darn well. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, could ennoble a clan, make them super happy, and therefore increase our resource production, morale increase by half, resource production increase by half. Uh, we don't really need anything, though. This is the problem. This is the problem, right? Is that we're doing so darn well that we don't actually need anything. I mean... Yeah, we just we just don't need anything right now at all. The map doesn't come that much further south. That's fine. I guess we'll just produce produce five treasure, which is like such a waste of time. But we'll do it anyway. I want to get another galley. I also want to figure out how to build forts. I should probably research that actually. Uh, Guildmasters, masters ceremony, tax collectors, watchmen. Watchtowers. How do we build a fort? Hmm. 
Does it say how to build a fort? I have no indication of how we can actually build a, a fort. Forts extend, extend a faction's control by two tiles, double the defense of any warriors while stationed there, and can produce fame if assigned apprentices. I mean, fair enough, but still no idea how to build a build a fort. Maybe it's in the crafting tech tree. Stone carvers, coopers, kiln masters. Maybe I'm just going completely crazy and not mid it, uh, missing it. Maybe it's catapults. Maybe is that is that the is that the catapults one, which is down here? Ten power surveyors. No instructors allows traits to be removed from clans in the settlement by spending zero parchment allows crimes to be removed that seems pretty darn good still nothing as far as i'm aware though nothing as far as i'm aware also we could get some trader upgrades you know what yeah let's do some trader upgrades man that's going to make us so so rich all right continue down this way continue down this way Okay, so you're on 49% HP, which we will see what you increase to next turn. All right, get you to skip your turn again. Sorry, just produce treasure, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to face up against uh, against those galleys. I guess we'll go around and see exactly what we're what we're capable of doing. I mean, it is technically within our territory, so that might give us a little a little boost or so uh, when fighting them, but it also might be a, a a mission where we just are completely unsuccessful. All right, so you went, wow, you went to 100% HP. Okay, that's kind of broken. Uh, that This was one turn that we were next to the healing fountain and we were immediately upgraded to full HP. That seems silly. That seems ridiculous. All right. Okay. I can't fight them. I cannot fight them. I, I cannot fight them at all. Um, Alright, well this is distinctly lame. Not much I can really do there. Increase the clan limit? Sure, let's increase the clan limit again. We got a lot of cloth to spare anyway. I say we got a lot of cloth to spare. We don't actually have that much cloth to spare. It doesn't It doesn't matter though. Let's get the upgrade to the traders again. 15 horses in order to in order to get these to get these guys upgraded. 10 sorry, 10 horses. We don't actually have any need for horses at the moment, but there we go. Plus 75 treasure. Nice. That's pretty darn good. Pretty happy with that. Don't think that we really need another trader to be honest. Oh. We have a crash. At the gates has crashed. You can't see this on the screen, but I will uh, I will read it to you. Um, actually, no, I won't because I don't I don't know why I don't know why things crashed. All right, well, let me try rebooting into this to see if there is any chance that we can salvage if we can salvage what we just did. There we go. There we go. We'll reload here. I don't really know what it was that could have caused the crash. So we're back. We're back here. We did upgrade the trader. Let's not upgrade the trader. And let's not engage the galley. We'll just uh, we'll just trundle up here. Alright. You're there. Skip that. Skip that. Settlement is idle. Produce treasure. Study a profession. Clerics or knights? We'll get knights. I feel that once we get knights, we will be truly unstoppable. Truly unstoppable in every measure. No crash? No crash? There has been a crash. Right. Well, I don't know what it was that we actually did. But it does seem, unfortunately, that I will not be able to continue the game as I, as I undertook different actions. I, 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 I 
undertook different actions on that turn anyway. I took, undertook different actions on the reload, so I don't know why. I don't know why we've got an issue. I, I I'm trying to make sense of this error code, but there is nothing which indicates nothing which indicates to me exactly what I did that the game has an issue with. So I I'm a little bit disappointed to be calling the series here, honestly because I think that we would have won, but I, I don't really think it matters. I think we'd have probably just dragged it out for a little bit, and uh, we would have eventually won, but now we're just going to call it off, and we're just going to say that we won, because we did, in effect, win. We were we were pretty much there. We had all of the resources that we could ever want, so I was pretty happy with how that went. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Albert Potato. This was John Schaefer's At The Gates. I'll see you next time. Bye.